everybody, and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander throwdown. Mimi Wheeler, but I'm not alone. Ha ha. We also have a search. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Try to slow it down next time. <laughs> and on tech. We have a Ben. I brought, I brought snacks because this is going to be a long night. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I get it. I thought I would slow it down. But before that. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> everything we do here is brought to you by Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. Wait, you can slow down. P a yeah, hold on, give him a second, dude. What are you rushing our tech guy for? Sorry, that's better. patreoncom slash loading ready run. Uh, and if you want more information for how to, you know, type that into your search bar or stuff that we're doing here, stuff on the format, the deck list we played, that's all in the uh, description down below. Why are we so slow? I thought I would slow things down a bit for tonight. You brought like a control deck. Well, I brought Mono White Martyr Proc, AKA ruin your evening. You were supposed to bring a blue black deck. Pulling the curtain up, I absolutely was. <laughs> I said, I'll bring blue black and one other deck. Uh, but then I realized, I don't know, I didn't want to build blue back, black, and I was like, this deck's pretty easy to build. And Wait, it, it would make a good matchup. the first three hour best of one? There's no, three hours, God no. At least two and a half, though. <laughs> All right. Uh. So it's a mono white deck that plays the most annoying cards you can think of. Soul Wardens, Mother of Ruins, uh... Swords to Plowshares, The Initiative, The Monarch. Uh, I'm just looking to slow things down and make it so nothing you do really matters. Is that okay? What are your points? My, I, oh God, the points don't matter in this list, but I think <laughs> they're soaring Mox Pearl Umezawa's GT. Okay. Yeah. What do I think? I think I'm going to have to be aggressive. I'm playing Davy B's Blue White Top 8 Canadian Highlander list. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an aggressive artifact list and of a genre that I've played in the past. And I'm going to have to go fast. I'm going to have to try and run you over before you can set anything up. Uh, my points are Mox, Mox, Sol Ring. So Pretty Blue good. White, Mox, and, and then a Sol Ring. Okay. Oh, this sounds miserable. Well, well, I've played against this deck once on the Friday Night Paper Fight. And I think that's where we coined it as Ruin Your Evening because that, yeah. that was an experience. This deck has won a local tournament. I've got my the, my records with this deck are 4-0, 3-0-1, and 2-0-2. <laughs> You've never lost with it. Uh, well, maybe I lost one game. Okay. If I did, it would be like 0-1-3. Sure. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Well, you won the die roll. No, I won the die roll. Because this hand's only keepable if I had won. All right. Right. And I'm going to start with a very aggressive Hallowed Fountain tap Oh, pass. that's what we like to see. <laughs> Soul's Attendant. Oh, God. Go ahead. Is that one symmetrical? Or yes. Is... Oh, good. All right. Uh, draw for the turn. Oh, that's a good draw. Let's play Marsh Flats. Uh, we're going to shortcut for a Tundra. And I'm going to cast Stone Forge. I'd like to gain a life. Yes, so I'm going to go to 19, you've done that, and I'm going to think about which equipment I want as I find a land. Okay. I think it might just be Batter Skull, but I'll see if I change my mind. Okay. Wait, no, you do Graveyard Looping Shenanigans. I'm going to get Lion Sash against Aww. you. Yeah! Yeah, okay. 
Oh, you do graveyard looping shenanigans. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. I drew two graveyard looping shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to play Ameria the Sky Ruin. As long as I have seven or more uh, planes in my upkeep, I get to return something from my graveyard. You look like a genius getting this line sash online. I'm going to play Lunark Veteran. Okay. Uh, it's a one side. Whenever a creature I control enters the battlefield, I gain a life. Okay. But I gain a life. Gain a life. Yeah. Go ahead. Draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. Basic planes. I'd like to tutor every turn if possible. Okay. Uh, Trinket Mage. Sure. Gain, on, gain, gain, on, one. gain one. Yeah, life. and I'm going to get a an Sol Ring. <clears throat> and pass to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Basic planes. I'm going to play a Hope of Giraper. Oh, my goodness. Gain two life. I didn't expect your deck to play that card. Well, it's really good when you can bring it back into play every yeah. single turn and yeah. just lock some decks out. It's fair. Then I'm going to play Remorseful Cleric and gain two life. Uh, sacrifice, exile, a target player's graveyard. Yes, yep. yes, yes, yes. And that'll be a pass. Would you like to cut? If good. Got ourselves a game. I'm gonna play Caracas. Yeah. Attack with the Trinket Mage. You're at 27? <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> Go to 25. <laughs> oh, if he thinks that's a high total. Cast Sol Ring. Sure. Pass. Planes. Mm -hmm. Combat. Yeah. Attack you for three. I will activate Krakus, return the Hope of Gear. Per Wait, that's bad. You just gained two life. Ha! <laughs> but I can gain one off it. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I think it's better to take three. Go to 16. Yeah. Tap three. I'm going to play Abiding Grace. What does that do? So three minute enchantment. This is at the beginning of my end step. I choose one. I can either gain one life... Or I can return target creature card with mana value one from my graveyard to play. So this with Hope of Gearper can lock people out. Yeah. Um, however, your stupid Lion Sash makes it real difficult. So I'm just going to go to my and uh, I'm going to go to the end of turn and uh, yeah. So I gain one life. Okay, yeah. I'll wait for that. That'll resolve. And then I'm going to activate Stone Forge yep. to put in Lion Sash. Sure. Gain one life. Yeah, because it enters as a creature. Yep. <laughs> I think the target from a graveyard, it was a permanent. I'm also going to uh, try and target my Marsh Flats sure. with Lion Sash. So if it was a permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Lion Sash. Land for the turn is a windswept teeth. Yep. <laughs> Suddenly on the back foot, which makes me extremely unhappy. There is an 11 point life discrepancy. Yeah. <laughs> we have to put the lion sash on the trinket mage. Sure. Uh, so it's now a 3 3. I'm going to cast a Dig Site Engineer. Ooh, okay. Um, I want to leave blue up, so I'm actually going to crack this fetch land. Get myself a basic planes. When this comes into play, I'm going to gain one life. Yeah.
This deck playing very, very few removal spells uh, is making this extremely difficult because I can't really pressure you with the normal math. Mm. Like, you just don't care. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, and that's kind of awkward. You know what I mean? I think you, yeah. I'm not just a five mana there. Attack you for four. Three. Attack you for three. I'll go to 15. Or 25. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't just keep getting beat in the air, though. It's very frustrating. I think maybe I have to. It's only three damage. I can take three for another turn. Um, go ahead. Castle Ardenvale. Yeah. Wait. I cast this, which means my mana's wrong. You, so I think your soul ring was tapped, right? Didn't you equip the sash? So it should be tapped like this then, like this? I think right, so. yeah, it should be like this. I equipped the sash and I went to cast the spell. I never actually paid for mana, so I have two ah, mana open. Because okay. I want to have blue open, so yeah. this is what I have access to, sorry. Oh, you're good. Combat. Yeah, I did try and cheat, which is really awkward. Three. Twelve. I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> And gain one life. Uh-huh. Cards in hand? Two. Okay. Untap. Untap. Er, end step. I'll eat this. Sure. I'm going to try and cast a Thought Monitor. Oh, my beatdown plan. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's fine. So I have to tap blue, one, two, three, four. So my, my artifact count is two currently. Mm -hmm. So that means I need to pay five more. So one, two, three, four, five. It's a mall drifter. And then do I want to pay two right now to make a construct and give you four life instead of two life? Yeah, ground creatures doesn't matter, so I'm actually not going to pay this right now. Sure. Uh, so game two, I'll draw two. I only gain one because it's your creature. This is only awesome. on my side. Yeah, I'm Fant only at I'm only at seventeen. Fantastic. I'm going to then <clears throat> attack you for four. <laughs> Twenty three. <laughs> Go. End of turn. Yeah. Make you human. Oh right. Oh my god. Gain two life. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Drop. Yeah. <clears throat> Planes. Um combat. Yeah. Ten. Go. And step. Gain one life. Yeah. <laughs> Activate Stoneforge Mystic. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to flash in a Nettle Cyst. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, you're going to gain one life. I'm going to gain one life. From the Germ Token. All right, untap. All right, can I turn the corner at this point? If I could get a life gain thing of my own, maybe yes. <laughs> No. Please don't. One, two, three, four. Well, he's declaring a thumb war. It's true. It's true, though. We're switching to the beat deck plan now. All right. Um, I'm going to cast an Aether Vial. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a Construct. I'm going to get a life. Yeah. And then I have one floating from there still. Uh -huh. I'm going to cast a Sensei's Divining Top. Okay. And then I'm going to pay two. Make a second Construct. Okay. I'm going to get a life. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I'm going to attack you with an 8-8 eight, eight and a 4-4. Four, four. Now, now these numbers are starting to change a little. I'm going to make a... Well, I'm going to block your 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. And then take 4. Yeah. Go to 25. You tapped four white mana, and I freaked out. Oh, for seven. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have actual scars from that card. You're like, you're getting settled? Oh, my God. Settle the Wreckage would not be good in this deck, but considering how much tilt equity oh, I get. <laughs> wow. I Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Go. Uh, I'm going to make a token. Yeah. Gain, Gain two, two life. Yeah. 27. Yeah. Prismatic Vista. Yeah. Combat. Yeah. I'll take two. Go to eight. Hmm. Go. Gain a life. Uh, end step, spin top. Sure. Untap, untap, <clears throat> untap, untap, untap. Upkeep, uh, put a counter on my Aether Vial. Draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. Cast a Master of Ethereum. Ooh, gain a life. Yeah, and then I also have a Dig Set Engineer trigger, so I'm going to pay two to get another Karnstruck. Gain another life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have access to two. Um, I'd like to go to combat. Yeah. So I'm going to attack like this this time. And I should just have a die up here that just represents my current affinity count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I, there are ten artifacts on the board on my side. Well, I'm going to make another human. Okay. I'm going to gain two life. Okay. I have access to two mana. So I have ten artifacts. Artifact creatures also get plus one, plus one. So this is a four, four. This is a ten, ten. And this is two eleven elevens. I'm going to block your two 11 11s. Okay. And take 14. 14. Hey, he's under 20! I got 18. He's under 20! Uh, Let's go! Oh. Go. Uh, 17. This is now a 3 3, by the way. Shh. <laughs> 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 Gotta tell you. I feel like this would have been a wildly different game if this Lion Sash wasn't in play. Mm, yeah. 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 The Caracas is also, although it hasn't done anything. But no. It's the threat. Well, yeah. It's the threat. Yeah. The threat of Caracas. The threat of Caracas. Um, okay. Cut me to a good one. Cut me to Winds of Abandon. We haven't had one of those in a while. I don't remember what that does, and I'm a little bit scared. It wraths you. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> Could we not? I don't know if I can go that far. That's fair. The best I can do is play the Seal of Ruin. Okay. And blow up your Caracas. I would like to respond. Sure. So does that end up in the graveyard before... <clears throat> this is in the graveyard. That yeah. is in the graveyard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have the ability to recur any permanents, only creatures? Only uh, one-drop creatures. Only one-drop creatures. I should still use this Caracas to eat. I'll try and eat the Field of Ruin. Sure. And uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Lion Sash. <clears throat> okay. And then we resolve Field of Ruin? Yes. We and now both... we both get a basic... Uh, that's entered play tapped, is that correct? Untapped. 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 Yeah. I'm so close to a Maria. <laughs> <laughs> but now you don't have a Caracas. And now I don't have a Caracas, it's true. Very interesting. Is this where you're going to play? Are you playing like Muriel or whatever? No, no. Okay. No. You're fine. Oh, both players shuffling. Well, that doesn't quite count because you yeah. cast a symmetrical effect. I don't think it's in the spirit of the achievement. Are you going to put it? <laughs> I wrote it down. What am I doing to you? No, 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 no. it's too late. It's correct. I'm playing it reverse now. Okay, okay. Go ahead and get alive. 
All right, end step. I'm going to eat both of these lands. Sure. Uh, this has five plus one plus one counters on it now. All right, uh, still upkeep. I'm going to spin top. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I'm going to put a counter on this. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to draw step. Draw step. I'm at eight. Yeah. Cool. Eighteen? <laughs> Pardon? Yeah. You have a flying blocker. You have two flying blockers. Yeah. <laughs> Stop saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather me go back to saying gain a life? No, I really wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you dead? Could you be dead? So this is 33, but you block all three of those. God, you're close to dead. You sound like my doctor. <laughs> I'm just going to assume you're dead. Okay. Wait, no, you have cards in hand and six open mana. I can't assume you're dead. I don't want to put myself in a position where I get blown out. Okay. Stop saying that. <laughs> I checked, settle the wreckage, not in my Okay, list. okay. Outside assistance. Okay. Well, they're open deck lists. One, two, three, four, five, six would be the potential crack back. Maybe seven, eight. Seven, eight's really bad. You have to block with basically everything. Six, seven, six. If I do this, I have two blockers back. <laughs> Here's how we're going to start. Okay. Four mana. Yep. I'm going to cast... Phyrexian Metamorph, paying the, the full mana cost. I have to mm -hmm. use a blue for that. Uh, copying Thought Monitor. Okay. And I am not going to pay off of that. Okay. Gain a life? Yeah. Draw, draw. Artifact count is now at 11. I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. And then I'm going to... move to attacks. Okay. And I'm going to swing. With everybody. Even Stoneforge? No, Stoneforge is going to stay back and the Phyrexian Metamorph copy and Thought Monitor is going to stay back. I'm going to activate Castle Ardenville. Yeah. Going to make a human gain two life. Yeah. And then, before we go to blockers, because I didn't know if you had any other effects there, mm -hmm. I am going to Path to Exile mm -hmm. on your 2-1 flyer. I'm going to cast Ephemerate on my 2-1 flyer in response. Nice. Yep. Uh, so, it Exiles comes back, I gain 2 life. <laughs> um, but these are 12-12s. Twelve Correct. Yeah. Uh, so there's three 12. Uh, yeah, these are 12 12s, and that's an 11 11. Uh, Master of Ethereum is also an 11 11. So I have five creatures that are real big. I'm going to put all five creatures in front of your one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is three, five, ten, twelve? What did I say? You said 10. I said, did I say 10? Yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I think I, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I got the math specifically in trigger range. 10. Put you at 13. Well, if you're doing that, I don't have to block one of these. Mm. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to change yeah, the math. Yeah, sorry, let me think. <clears throat> yep. So if I just leave that, 
The big ones have to get blocked. Yes. Um, and so if I left this black back, which is 10, so that's 10, 13, plus that's 20, so that's 22, so I go to 1. Because it's 12 plus 10. Is that how you want to block? That's how I'm going to block. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah, Aether okay. Vowel. You got an Aether I've got uh, a plus 2 oh, on sure. the black steel skill. Sure. Okay. <laughs> we take those risks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't really do anything with that Lion Sash, which is... I mean, if I find a way to remove it, yeah. or like a card advantage engine. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, uh, just, it stuck around for too long. Good job, Lion Sash. Stupid. It was correct on turn two to tutor for it. Stupid Lion Sash. So, I wonder if I was supposed to put my foot on the gas a little earlier, because it was starting to get a little scary, and <clears> then <throat> I just went all in. I needed to hit a critical dense of uh, density of mana because that was one of the big things I was waiting for was that like two turns after Sol Ring. Yeah, once... Mm, I think if you go aggressive earlier, I win that game. That's that's what I was worried about, yeah. right? Because you get more advantage at the at that point earlier if I don't build up as explosively as I did. Yeah, the thought monitor becoming a three three was probably the biggest. Like, yes. oh, I don't think I'm able to actually kill you. Yeah, which is something this deck could struggle with. Um, but no, it's like yeah, your ground creatures early on don't matter. Yeah, like they, they just, really, they, just they really didn't. They just don't matter. They really, really didn't. And you have an ability to profitably block everything on the ground <laughs> yeah. for a long time there until because if uh, one for one, you're you're gaining, yeah. right? So I needed to um, exponentially accelerate past what you were gaining there, which is yeah. hard to do. Okay. So I think the only reason I got lucky there is I didn't see a single removal spell from you. Yeah, I don't have a huge amount, but I'm and still on like 10 of them, which... Good lord. I mean, that's not... Maybe it's fewer than that. I have all the. I have a lot of creature-based removal, too. Oh, okay. Oh, you're you're all like a banisher priest, aren't I'm you? Literal, I'm on actual fiend hunter. Oh my god. Yeah, because... I mean, that's uh, kind of sick, though. You've got ephemerate. Yeah. Yeah, I got some ways to blink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... That ephemerate was kind of spicy too, though. Yeah, I was hoping to catch you on a turn where it would actually be relevant. Sure. But I saw you make a face like you like your hand. I do. I like my hand. I'll keep. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, friend. Planes, Raven Inspector, make a clue Hell and yeah. pass. Ooh. <clears throat> How aggressive do I want to be? No. Yes. Huh? All right. Yes, it is. Ancient Tomb. Oh. Steel Overseer. Okay. <laughs> Go. That's pretty good. Uh, planes, hit you for one. I'm at 17. Go ahead. Untap, draw for the turn. I'm going to play a Seacrum Coast. And then I'm going to Ancient Tomb. Mm-hmm. For a Sensei's Divining Top and a Signal Pest. Yeah. And then I'm going to say go. I'm going to crack my clue. Yeah. Untap. Draw. Play of Planes. Yeah. Ranger Captain of Ooh, Eos. That's a good one. I'm going to tutor up a <clears throat> one drop. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to get Giant Killer. Uh, Straight target creature with power four or greater. Okay. For chop down, and then it can also just be a tapper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pass. Uh, end step. I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on every artifact creature I control. Okie dokie. If you insist. And then end step, I'm also going to spin top. Yep. I'm God, I'm yep. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I don't like this. <clears throat> untap, untap, draw for the turn, land for the turn, cast Phyrexian Metamorph. Ooh, yeah. Go to thirteen, copy and steal overseer. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, you're fine. 
I'd like to. I don't think I can attack here, actually. I'd like to pass. <clears throat> I'm going to play a planes. Yeah. So I want to block anyways. Maybe I'm supposed to attack. Combat. Yeah. Yeah, I should have attacked you. Yeah. I go to 12. Giver of runes. Nice. Gives protection from artifacts as well, which is very relevant. Yeah. Um. All Seed of Life's Bounty. Nice. Dauntless Bodyguard. Target. Buddy. Uh, buddy with my Giver of Runes. Okay. <clears throat> Go. End step. Put a plus one, plus one counter on every artifact creature I control. Yep. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. So not attacking last turn only has me down two damage. Three. It's not huge. Are you not attacking? Yeah, yeah me yeah. not attacking. Which doesn't really change the tempo of too much. And I don't think I can attack now, which is a little awkward. No, I, I still think I can, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to pay two and cast the reality chip. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is really cool. And then I'm going to go look at the top card of my library. Hey, what's up, little buddy? All right, that's really cool. That's really good. Oh, god, that's so incredibly spicy. I actually knew that card was there, too. Um, I'm going to activate top. Sure. Uh, I'm going to pay two life and cast Walking Ballista. Mm. X is equal to one. Yep. I'm going to put a big dice on this. Uh, and then I'm going to activate oh. activate right now. So let's do it one at a time. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Do we have another green one? Uh, yeah, right here. Thank you. Put a plus one there. And then I'm going to do activate it again. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Um, and then I'm going to minus one. I can't quite kill Mum yet, which is a little bit frustrating. But I will shoot the Dauntless Bodyguard. I will give Mum protection. Yeah. And then I will uh, shoot the, your A-lead. A I will give Mum protection. Okay. Uh, I'd like to attack you for f four. Four. I go to 16. Pass. Oh, sorry. Land. If yeah. I may. Land and then pass. <clears throat> Hmm. I might ask for a salty run back. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunate series of draws. Hmm. That kills that. I don't think I can actually beat this. Not with what I have in hand. Mm. Skull Clamp. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to play a field rune and then equip Skull Clamp to my Ranger Captain of Eos. Yeah. I'm going to attack for four. God, I'm getting low enough that I think I block this, even though I give you two cards. Or if I don't block this, are you just dead? No, you have the um, Giant Killer in hand, which I believe, is it three to cast? Three to cast. Okay, so you can't cast it and 
played as a blocker, so you only get to kill one of my creatures. So if I don't, if I don't block this, you have two blockers. Get rid of this, get rid of those two. Okay, you're not dead. So I think I'm supposed to block and play a slightly longer game here. Uh, I do that. I'll block with the 2-4. Uh, 2-6, rather, sorry. Uh, I guess I'll sacrifice it to uh, make it so you can't cast non-creature spells this turn. Okay. Uh, I draw two cards. Oh, I drew three cards. Uh, I'm going to shuffle that in a second, but I need to actually figure out if these two cards are going to win me the game. Or stop me from doing Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that stops that. That's not bad. Uh, sure, let's play it out. Okay. I'm going to play Fiend Hunter. Ooh, yep. I'm going to exile your walking ballista. It's a good one. I'm supposed to, yeah, even if I get this back, it comes back to zero, zero, so it's dead either way. Mm -hmm. So I'll shoot you for one. 15. Uh, go ahead. Unless I get like a Master of Ethereum or something. I think I have to put this over to the side now. I think I'm working with three mana. <laughs> I mean, you're at 10. Yeah. Top card. Oh, right, you. So I do have a cool thing I can do, because I have top and I have the reality chip, where I can play top off the top of my d deck and do kind of a draw engine yeah, thing. But... It's, yeah, once it's reconfigured mm -hmm. onto something, you can do the future sight talk. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of mana, <laughs> which makes it a little bit awkward. <clears throat> so I know you have Night Killer, Giant Killer still. I think I do actually have to pay Ancient 2 mana still. Uh, we're going to cast Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. Oh, yep. Uh, pay 2 mana. I'm going to cast Oswald, Fiddlebender. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know what the top card on my deck is. I was like, look at the top card. I can do it at any time. It hasn't changed. Now I'm up for my next trick. No. Show me. <laughs> uh, I think I just tack you for four in the air. Any effects four damage? No. No. Go. I got 11. <clears throat> Weathered Wayfarer. Yeah. Into play tapped. I'm going to clamp it immediately. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Play a basic planes. Play an Esper Sentinel. Mm. Go. All right, end step. I'm going to activate Steel Overseer. Any effects? Nope. Okay, so plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. And then I'm going to activate Steel Overseer. <clears throat> plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Untaps. Draw for the turn. I'll look at the top card. Realizing last turn you wouldn't have been able to do the Sensei's Divining Top stuff anyway, because you had the Ranger Knight effect on you from the turn prior. Oh, it's only that turn. Was uh, was that not the turn after? No, that was in my on my combat. Oh, oh, it doesn't like it's not. Like it's that. not. It's until, not the Hope yeah. of Giaper kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. God, does this work? Only one way to find out. I've got a very cool potential line, but I don't know if it works, but I'm going to go for it. Okay. Ancient Tomb. I go to six. Cast Sensei's Divining Top. Esper Sentinel Trigger. You can have a card. Oh. I think I need all the mana I need here. So I'm going to order this in the spin top, order top way, such that you activate top, hold priority, and then, no, you spin top, hold priority, and then draw. So, what means is this is going to end up, you can do it in such a way, right, that you you put this underneath and you draw a different card, right? No, that doesn't work? You can activate your top, 
and then f to look the top three. Then you can hold priority and flip your top so that you draw the top card yes. and then top yeah. is not going to be That's the... That's what I mean, yeah, because I want this card. Sure. All right, so DM I do that. Okay. Hopefully that was clear to the audience. So I draw. Yep. And now I look at the top. And then three. you resolve the top. Yep. And top is one of those cards. Yes. Great. Ancient Den. Mana. Ancient Den mana. Uh, float a white, activate Oswald. Yep. Crack this, and I can get uh, one CMC higher than the previous one. Yep. I'm going to go get a Shadow Spear. Yep. I guess I didn't really need to do the shuffle afterwards. I literally just could have drawn. But I guess I wanted to see if I was shuffling away stuff, so it was right. it was worth checking. Shadow Spear is in play. Oh, I did have one extra mana to pay. Whatever. I did not play this perfectly. But that's all. You right. get to you get to fiddle bend. It always gets me excited. <laughs> So you have three mana, um, which means you can activate... Oh, this isn't actually as cool, because you can literally, whatever creature I put the Shadow Spear on, you can Giant Killer, which is kind of unfortunate. I was so excited about that play. I was like, dog, this is sick. Look at this. Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to look at the top card with uh, Reality Shift, Reality Chip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't even put it on Thalia. Because then you just get it for free. I mean, I could just force you to um, destroy a creature I don't care about as much. Put it on the regality chip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to attacks. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack with... Thalia. Actually, if I attack with everybody... Oh, it doesn't matter, because Signal Pest. If I attack with Signal Pest, the, the battle cry literally means you can kill anyone anyways. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, I attack with everything. Figure it out. Oh, whatever, I do this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like, it's weird to be complaining in a situation where I'm advantaged, but I'm like trying to find a way to make this line good, and I just don't know if it's perfect. So I have a battle, fight, a battle cry trigger. So, if I block that... No worries, Serge. People will let you know if there was a better line in the <laughs> comment section below. Absolutely. If I block that, then I'm taking six plus three. Plus four. Plus four, so I got a one. My deck doesn't have many ways of getting life. Um, actually, that's kind of funny. Let's do... I'm going to block like that. I'm going to give... Fiend Hunter, protection from artifacts. Or colorless. Yeah. I'm going to Giant Killer, your reality chip. Yep. Goes on an adventure. Yep. Uh, and then I take 10, and I go to 1. That looks correct. Skrelv. Oh, no. Yeah. You've got Skrelv. I've got Skrelv. Pass. Gonna play this land that comes into play tapped. Thanks, Thalia. Skrelv can't block. Correct. Combat. Yep. I go to three? Okay. You got a wrath? No. Lightning bolt. I have a Karma Guide. Okay. That is going to bring back Ranger Captain of Eos. Yeah. Trigger. What you know about Fog's Surge? Uh, that they're rude to play, don't do it. I'm going to get Call Me of False Hope. Oh, no. This oh, is a no. one mana 1 1 that I can sacrifice it to prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. I'm going to play Call Me of False Hope. I'm going to pass the turn. Fascinating.
You're fine. I really misplayed that last turn. Well, we got ourselves an actual game now? That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Well, I attack you, Signal Pest. I'm going to fog. Yep. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice Skelf. Yep. I'm going to go get Lion Sash. Sure. I think it's supposed to be Lion Sash. Let me just look through my deck just in case. Just in case. <laughs> just in case. Lion Sash is right there. Yes. Oh, okay. Just in case. Well, no, it's like, <clears throat> so I have two things I need to do. One, I need to keep you from looping cards in your graveyard so you don't just use turbo fog me out. Yep. Two, I need to not die in the air. Yeah. So uh, Lion Sash is the first thing I go to, but something that happens in this format, especially in Singleton with Tutors, is um, having blinders on and mm -hmm. unable to see if there's a better line. Yeah. So like maybe Smuggler's Copter and getting a blocker that can draw me out of the situation and just kills Karmic Guide. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's stronger. Right, so I, I want to make sure that I give myself at least half a second to look through and make sure. For that, sure. Yeah. Uh, life gain would be kind of cool. I still think it's supposed to be Lion Sash. Okay, I don't want to guide you around. Uh, I don't want to guide you towards any specific path. Okay. Just to let you know. Yeah, I That's do. That's my intention. All right, I guess I am dead on board, but you have the block there. Yeah. Am I just dead? I think so. I'm going to keep tutoring real quick. Is it? Does it have to be one bigger? It has to be. Okay, so I can't get a spell bomb. Oh my god. Did I lose this game? I might have. <sighs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we're tutoring for any two drop. Oh, was I supposed to sack for a different number? No, like what flyers do I have? Yeah, okay, so it has to be, it has to be the looter scooter or else I'm dead. Has to be. Which means you can still turbo fog me for a turn. All right, let's get the looter scooter. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to just not die, you okay. know? You know? I feel you. I don't know if you, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. How you feel about that particular decision? I respect your decision to not die. To not die? I appreciate I, I appreciate that, you know? You have your opportunity, too, to look at your three drop if you end up doing that, too. Yeah, later on, yeah. Well, I still I think I need to get Lion Sash at some point, because if Ben um, gets shenanigans going, then that's extremely bad for me. So now, do I equip the Shadow Spear onto somebody? I think I'm supposed to. You've already used the Giant Killer? Yeah, it's, in, it's, it's, on, a, an it's on an adventure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to pay two and put the Shadow Spear on Thalia. Sure. And then... I have... I only have two blockers. That's fine, one of them has lifelink now. Say go. I need to think if I'm getting this. Because if I Karmic Guide, uh, if I, I have Echo on the stack, if yeah. I pay Echo, 
I can make it unblockable, and I can hit you for two. I can't equip with Skull Clamp and give her protection. Because then it falls off. Because then it falls yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's actually really important to point out, because people will be like, Surge is just dead here. Yeah. Um, and you have colorless and white as your cards. Yes. Is this also blue? Uh, no, it's just an artifact. Just it's not artifact. blue. Yeah. I think I sacrifice this. Okay. I don't pay echo. Draw. I'm going to clamp my Esper Sentinel. Yes. Selfless Savior. Is that another one that bonds with it, somebody? It gives something. It lets you sacrifice it. Okay. I'm going to clamp it. Okay. <laughs> this game got closer than it had any right to be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play a Soul Warden. Yes. I'm going to play a Mox Pearl. Yeah. I'm going to play a Martyr of Sands. Gain a life. Ooh. I'm going to fetch. Are we on full Martyr of Sands shenanigans now? We're not quite. No, I'm on need to get another creature into play or else I die to my fetch land. Right, yeah. Okay. It's mana neutral in a way, but it gives me another thing that I can clamp. Yeah. Because there are a bunch of things that I can just draw to kill you. That's terrifying. Yeah. Hoping to draw one of those. I haven't played a land yet. I only played the mox. You played the mox, yeah. Okay. I'm going to need you to kite yourself to your death here. Okay, sure. That's okay. Yeah, no, please. All right. Come on, baby. All right, let's see. Uh, can you kill me? I'm going to clamp the Murder of Sands. Okay. Uh, technically, am I dead if I do that? I'm going to clamp my Soul Warden, okay. actually, first. Draw two. A reminder, you do have another creature, oh, too. I, I yeah, know. just making sure. I'm going to clamp the Murder of Sands. Okay. Don't like that noise. <laughs> Don't like that noise. All right, he's got the lance. Ephemerate my Fiend Hunter. So uh, technically all these should come into play tap from this, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to Ephemerate Fiend Hunter. It goes away. Okay, so this is going to enter play. And die. Yeah, state-based actions. I don't have a chance to respond nope. with Steel Overseer. Correct. So it's just going to die. Fiend Hunter is going to exile your Thalia. Okay. All right. Thalia is now underneath there. Then I'm going to give this protection from Colorless. And hit you for three. Sick! Uh, yeah. Not bad. I don't think I got a Not line bad. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game three. <laughs> Man. Beautiful line. Uh... That turn I went and grabbed Shadow Spear was really bad. It was very aggressive. It was. It was, and it didn't need to be, and mm -hmm. it used a bunch of resources in a way. I, The problem is I started committing to the line, and I even if I had thought it out slightly better, uh, my mana usage would have been better, my life usage would have been better, mm -hmm. and I don't think I leave the board in as awkward of a state. Yeah. So uh, that's unfortunate, because I think that's, that's what gave you that window. Like, if I get... Literally anything else? I mean, it was literally down to the wire there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest, that's the first time I've ever cast an Oswald Fiddlebender, though. Usually you don't get to untap with him. Okay. So Because it, they just It just kill dies him. right yeah, away, yeah. It dies right away. So I had, a, I had a hard time sort of figuring out what the best course of action there was. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little... Little Feeling jumped. pretty good about that? Little, no, 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 no. little jump. You Car deserve to be. That was the, sick. The karma guide for the ranger for the commie. Ooh. <laughs> for the attack for three and mom attack. Ooh, yeah. That's that good stuff. 
We don't need the salty run back at all. We got ourselves a yeah, proper I, game three here. We can make it salty if you okay. want. Okay. Well, it doesn't need to be. I mean, okay. I guess I could be salty. Live your best life, you know? Okay. No. See? Okay, there you yeah. go. Now you're being a magic player. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> I'm on the play. Is this hand terrible? That's what you want to hear. <laughs> oh, I, I just don't know. I don't know how to evaluate a lot of these cards. I think it's good. Honestly, my biggest weakness on the show has been my mulligan evaluation. Ben's hand's pretty good. I can see it from here. Yeah. I think I 3 0 with this in cube yeah. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to mull this. I'm going to show you my hand. Sure. So I had the mock start, three lands. Yeah. Smuggler's Copter, Reality Chip, Skull Ball. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. But like, I, there's a weird conversation to be had of like how much card value you can potentially get a Reality Chip. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, and the mock start's also quite strong on the I play. I mean, land mocks Copter into any creatures. Trying to like play a into creature. Into that creature. Oh. I mean, we can't do that. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> That hand has so many opportunities to, to do not nothing. do anything, yeah. Yeah. and you're... And the, pro the problem with the, the reality chip is it doesn't let me manipulate the deck. It just lets me see if I'm dead. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. It gives you the, the foresight, but it's tough to pass up a mock start with this deck because it's yeah. just so explosive. And there was a, a bunch of selection in really weird ways. Like, worst case scenario, it's like... Uh, Smuggler's Copter, Reality Chip, crack the Skull Bomb to give my Reality Chip plus two, plus two, so I can crew, draw two, pitch one, yeah, then we're online. That's turn three. But that's that's a little clunky. Yeah, um, I don't know about that one. That's fair. That's fair. It's fine. This one's going to be even better. Cut me to your doom, please. Oh. Oh, do you want me to cut? No, no, no. You're fine. Okay. You've, you've decided that your death is right on top. Usually is. You were right. Oh god, what do I put back? <sighs> I put what do I put back? I put that back. Alright. GG. <laughs> what? <laughs> GG? Yeah. Okay. I got uh turn one retrofitter foundry. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to say uh, good luck, but yeah. it came out way ruder than that. Mox. Oh, we have the mock start. Okay. Farm hand. What's farm hand? Ambitious. <laughs> okay. I, this is your turn one play, and I'm dead. Oh, it finds a plane. Well, I don't know if this is why you're dead, but okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. I like the farm hand. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Untap, draw. But how do you beat the planes pass? Oh, that's the thing. I don't. <laughs> The retrofitter is now online, <laughs> fully armed and operational. Armed and ready. Up two, three, four. Up two. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. The scout's code. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Skyclave apparition. <sighs> wow. All right, that that does make me sad. Size doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so this is gone forever and I get a 1-1 one, one when that dies? I can't yeah. remember how that works. Yeah. When it leaves play, you get a 1-1. One, one. All right. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, the card is... <laughs> that good, huh? That that good. I More more that, uh, that Pringles. Mm. Thalia. Yep. Heretic Cathar. Yep. Play bums me out, man. Bums me out. Mm. It's wild how good that card is right now. Just because I have a very specific card in my hand. 
One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I'm going to play Knight Errant of Eos. Ooh, yeah. So I'm going to need TBs. I'll look at the top six cards in my deck, and I can reveal up to two creatures with mana value X or less, in this case two, where X is the number of creatures that can this convoked. I only get one, but I also have to pass up on my two initiative creatures, okay. which is kind of... Uh, I'll get Giant Killer. That's into hand, eh? Into hand. That's a 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. And it's tapped. It's tapped. I hate it. Uh, then I'm going to play Aether Vial and pass. That's a good one. And I'm going to shuffle. Oh, interesting. That's actually really good. Uh, Power Stone Depot. Mm -hmm. Really weird. It's a modular land. Yep. Uh, add one mana of any color only to cast artifact spells and artifact activated abilities. Um, and then we are going to cast Oswald Fiddle Bender. No, not this jerk. This jerk has, in fact, arrived. Yeah. What up, the jerks here? Okay. Do I attack for three? No, because then you crack me for four next turn, and that's bad. Four or more. <laughs> or more? Uh, you are fine. Go. Uh, file. Your deck's been a lot more proactive than I want it to be. Kind of go back to just playing like a Soul Sister and do nothing, please. Yeah, I kind of wish I had the Soul Sister. <laughs> no, actually, no, I like I like how that's arranged. I think it's pretty clear. Planes. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I sure am taking four here. Take four. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> holy smokes. Uh, go ahead. Uh, holy smokes, eh? Yeah, holy right. smokes. Untap. Now... I only have two artifacts, so I'll draw for the turn. That good, huh? It's not bad. You hit Giant Killer? I hit Giant Killer. That's really frustrating. That's why I hit it. Uh, three mana. Yep. No, man, because if I do that, then I put a plus one plus one counter on it, and that sucks. No, I still have to do it. Okay, three mana. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Steel Seraph for its prototype cost. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Uh, you have so much mana. Uh, then I'd like to go to combat. Sure. And I'd like to give Thalia lifelink. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to attack with Thalia. I am going to double block with my ambitious farmhand and my Skyclave Apparition. Oh, I've lost my Thalia. <laughs> I'm going to order my block is like this. What do you got? Um, I'm going to pay three. Yeah. And Coven Transform. Oh, what if I misread? There's like an onboard trick with this card? It's a 3-3 it's a three it's a three three lifelink. Oh. Oh. Um, but I'm not done yet. Okay. Oh, wait, there's more. Um... Actually, no, I am done. <laughs> okay. So first strike damage, I'm going to kill your Skyclave Apparition. Yeah. Uh, I get a spirit token that is a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and you gain three. I gain three life. And I'm going to gain three eventually. Yeah. I got a, I have one spirit token. That's fine. This is a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Regular strike damage, this is going to die. Surge! Melon. Melone. Uh... White and Sacrifice, moving them. You can only activate... Uh, oh! I should, have I should have tapped differently. Man, that was not a good turn in any universe. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Boo this man. Pass. Activate. I'm going to put an All Seed of Life's Bounty. Untap. This goes to two. Shh. 
Arid Mesa. Fetch. <laughs> I was doing that thing of like, ah, oh, surely I just play this way. And then I'm like, ah, this is how you get blown out by something. Mm. Right. Yeah. Let's play it a little slower. Uh, I'm going to cast Savine's Reclamation. Oh my god. Yeah. And I'd like to bring back my Skyclave Apparition. Yeah. And I'd like to exile your Oswald Fiddlebender. Yeah. I played that last turn terribly. My dude, it's falling apart. It's okay. All right, so this goes into exile. Yeah, let me show the card. Yeah. Uh, brings us back to play. Yeah. So in a different world, I still have my Thalia. Uh, I have a Skrulv out. Oh, Which okay. is what I was going to go get, because then I have that mum protection, because I can give it hexproof and protect any of my threats that want to grow from yeah. your, from your <clears throat> um, giant killer. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking better in that universe. Yeah. Looking better than this universe. Yeah. Uh, I'll attack with these two. I'll chump the 4-4. Four, four, sure. And I'll take 3 and you gain 3. Go to 16, I go to 25. Yeah. Go. Untap. One, two, three. I gain a life off the Inventor's Fair. 17. I'll draw for the turn. Dig Site Engineer. That's a good one. Yep. Um, give myself Vigilance. Mm -hmm. Crack you for three in the air. I uh, go to 22. Pass. Activate. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it up to three. Yeah. That was a good draw. Planes. Stone Forge Mystic. Oh. Trigger. Oh, you missed it. That's so awkward. I know. I'm going to get Ume. Oh, you play Gite. Do I want Gite? I might not want Gite. Okay. Gita currently doesn't do much on your board, but I could start clamping and drawing cards. You have one card in hand currently? I got one card in yeah. hand. I think I'm going to actually grab Skull Clamp. Okay. This might be wrong, but let me know in the comments below that actually don't. I don't trust any of you. I trust some of you. And if you can hear this right now, I trust you. Mm. You are I'm, fine. I'm lying to them. I mean, Clamp won you that last game, right? That's true. <clears throat> we trust you to go to patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clamp has entered the building. Yeah. Uh, you trade with that. That's kind of bad, even if I get to Reclamation. So I think it's better if I just Clamp that, and then I'm going to... Uh, actually, it's better if I clamp this. I'm going to clamp this apparition. Okay. Final answer. Attack with everything. Really wish you wouldn't. Okay. It's ten? <clears throat> yep. That's so many. <laughs> yep. So it's funny because I'm I'm contemplating trading something now at this point because I kind of feel like I have to take stuff off the board, but like the life link is worth the difference. Ah, maybe it's worth clearing that right now. Cause like I can reset the board kind of if I block like this, I clear two of your creatures, but you have Savine's Reclamation, so you could bring them literally both of them back. So it's not even a good trade right now. Yeah. Right? You don't get to do it this turn. Um also I'm about to start making constructs, so like keeping my artifacts is also good. Mm-hmm. I think I take 10. Okay. I think I just don't block and I go to 7. You go to 7. It's a little bit riskier, but I, like, I'm like i playing from behind now, so I kind of have to. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. All right. Now I need to do that thing where I draw a card and I say that's a good draw. Okay. That good? Oh, baby. <coughs> oh. You have no idea. 
hope of gear per. Oh, sorry. I do gain a life, though. I had yeah. one, two, three. Cast hope of gear per. Yeah. Um, trigger. Yeah. I'm going to make a construct. Mm -hmm. It's big. It dies, but it's big. <laughs> it's big. It dies. <laughs> it lives again. I'll do that later. Combat lifelink? I think it has to be combat vigilance. You have one card in hand. One card. And it's the giant killer. It's giant killer. Yeah. This is currently a one, two, three, four, five, five. So it's definitely in dies to giant killer it's range. In, yeah. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I don't even have a big creature that I can attack, that I can like boost for a big life swing right now. The vigilance lets me hold it back as a blocker. I'm never blocking with it. Unless I die. That's no, fine. Uh, lifelink. I'll attack you for three in the sky. 22. You to go to 11. 11. Second main. I'm going to cast a Thraben Inspector and yep. get a clue. Yep. Pass. I'm going to giant killer your construct. Yeah. And step. At least that's gone. Yeah. <laughs> that's so big for now me. Now you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Uh, untap. Yep. Draw. Funny. Combat. Yeah. All right, what onboard trick do you have this time to be attacking the Stoneforge Mystic? I don't know the cards you have in hand anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. So I think what I'm doing is I'm blocking here, and then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems bad. Uh, I don't have a way to sacrifice an artifact on board. Otherwise, it'd be amazing to block with servo, sack with servo. I think I'll block here too, just to be safe. Sure. Die out of nowhere. Sure. Uh, take four. Yeah. Go to seven. I gain three. Go to 25. Um, I'm going to clamp my all seed. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. What have you cast? I'm going to uh, overload Winds of Abandon. Okay. So I exile your entire board and you find a planes for each card I've exiled. Oh, that's rude. Why would yeah. you do that? Well, you said get out of here to my all seat. <laughs> oh, it's one sided? Yeah. All right, I get three planes. Yeah. Okay. Are they tapped or untapped? Tapped. Oh. But, good news. Okay. It's your turn. Oh. So, basic lands, and I get three of them. Yeah. Let's do three planes, and that'll be all the planes. Well, the good news is my draws were bad. Okay, great. So, so there's a chance. There's, I don't think there's much of a chance. Mm, if you get a big life linker, like I, well... A big colorless life linker. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, because I have this all seed that I can bring back with my oh, Sabines to get through. Yeah. yeah. So I, I technically have two draws because I have this clue and I have three mm -hmm. more lives and Inventor's Fair is useless to me. Okay, good. Well, I could. No, I don't enough mana to crack it. If you draw like a zero mana artifact, you have some game, but it's very. It's, yeah, limited. it's not great. I would need your deck list to be able to tell you how exactly dead you are, but. Yeah, well, we'll find out. Great. All right, untap. Untap. You could also just draw swords and path. That's not great for me, though. Well, if you get rid of these two. Yeah. Then I'm only pressuring you for four. For a couple turns, first draw. That's very funny. Like funny ha ha or Oh, I'll tell you in a second. It's a laugh riot. <laughs> it's it's a turn. Uh here's another draw spell. Oh, that's doesn't help. Alright, well, uh Sol Ring. <laughs> okay, yeah. And the other card I drew with Acer Aether Spellbomb. Okay. So I can bounce. And then, am I still exactly dead? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you have a Memnite in your deck? Or I do. An ornitho <laughs> I, no, I have an Ornithopter in the deck. So you could pay one, two, three, four, sack the Inventor's Fair to find an Ornithopter, and then 
play Ornithopter and use one to bounce my biggest thing, and then you block my second biggest thing. And then I live for a turn. <laughs> you live for a turn. Yeah, it's not a terrible idea. I don't think you have a win another way of... Yeah, but then how do I stabilize after that? I don't think I have an out. Like, even if I get... So, like, the biggest bombs in stack are stuff like Kappa K and Nier, but they require a... I mean, it's more fun to play it out. Let's just play it out, right? So, I bounce first. Mm -hmm. No, I bounce at attacks, because I want to wait. Well, if I bounce now, I don't die, and I get more information. So, I think that's better than doing it, than cracking the Avengers Fair first, right? What? No, you have to crack the Fair first, because this is... Right, then I artifact. lose it. Yeah. So, one blind draw, or commit to the whole turn. Um, I should only have three mana tapped, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, Clue plus that is the one. Oh, no, no, plus Soul Ring. It is four. Oh, Clue plus Ring plus Bomb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's the only line you have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, you don't even draw when you bounce. That's the new spell bomb that does that. All right, yeah. sure, why not? Uh, four mana, Crack, Ornithopter... I do get to show off my very pretty ornithopter, though. It's true. Oh, Solitude is on top. <laughs> solitude. If I, I just blind cracked that, Solitude would have uh, would have stabilized. Yeah, but if I blind picked all the right numbers for the whole. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, and then we will. Uh, I think I still think we're supposed to wait. Yeah, you just... yeah. I think you wait. Go. I just have to draw um, Solitude next turn. Yes. Just that easy. So we do that. Equip that for four. I... What do you mean equip for four? Or sorry. <laughs> uh, if I equip that for four damage. Oh, sure. I'm going to activate my Aether Bell. Oh, no. Is that a Lord? It's a mentor of the meek. Oh, that's actually so disgusting in your deck. I'm going to play selfless savior. Yeah, draw a card. sick. I'm going to play call me a false hope and draw a card. Ooh, you can fog when you attack me. It's true. I'm going to clamp my call me. Oh, am I still one short? Because I do this, you bounce that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am one short, but this is very funny. So I'm you get the removal spell for the ornithopter? Council's Judgment? Uh, I would like to vote for your board. You can't vote for my board. Why, why not? Um, I'll respond. Bounce. Okay. Uh, I would like to vote for Ornithopter. Yes. Sounds good. <laughs> um... If I attack and I put you to one... Uh-huh. No difference is one. I'm trying to think if I if it's actually correct for me to knight errant here, in case you might have removal. Oh, give me a turn. Yeah, I'm not killing you either way. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I, yeah, I think it's actually correct for me to knight errant. Sure. Again. And now you get to look at six cards and pick two, five or less. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to reveal uh, Palace Jailer oh and God. Suture Priest, <laughs> and I'm going to pass. Oh man. I got the removal spell. Oh, Dude! I, I... This is winnable. I had yeah. in game two and in game three. I Probably some of the larger, like, actual just misplays I've made on the show in a while. And you know why? Not to spoil folks at home if this episode comes out before the other one. But okay. I think it's because this deck is very similar to the one that you've been playing. Yeah. But it's different. It is like, different, all, There's yeah. so many... There's so much overlap yeah. that it feels like some of the spots where you were like, hmm, I shouldn't have done that, were ones that were infinitely more aggressive than you needed to be. Yes, which this deck doesn't need to be. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. like for the for your version of these type of decks, you have the ability for like burn or to just like go real like you want to kill them quickly. Yeah. Right. But for this one, I think it scales. Scaling it is just really the word does. I'm going to keep using because it every like you can play that kind of grindy ish game at times yeah um it, it almost i want to say mid-range but that's kind of weird but in a weird way it does feel it's like nah take your time draw your cards one at a time sort of like see how it goes yeah. oswald fiddlebender in this deck has i can't believe i had that two games back to back and 
suddenly I started sweating. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, oh my God, there's so many, because I don't have a lot of reps in pod decks, mm -hmm. right? And um, you don't just think about the tutor of the cards that you need and you're done. You also have to start thinking about like almost a pod chain. Okay, I can do this and I can do this and then I can do this. And then thinking three steps in advance made me miss step one. Yep. Like um, th specifically like the, I couldn't activate my land. To right. get going there, right? And then I know you have the that oh that misplay that misplaying game that was game three, not getting Skrelv to protect my threats from your um, your giant killer. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my goodness, lots well, of new. That's a learning experience, certainly. That's okay. That's I, what we're here for. My own hubris. Play to your outs, you know. Well, Man. the best part about it is. Is that we're definitely playing for real keepsies. Oh, yeah. And it all matters in the end. <laughs> That's true. At the end of the year, who, whichever of us has the most wins, uh, Graham and Paul won't fire. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is bit. Wait. I, if I don't play and you're I'm at zero. I'm, show, we, I'm at yeah, zero. Sorry, ben, ben. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't know. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Ben. I, I just thought you wanted to run uh, tech. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I look forward to Paul being on tech for us, you know, next year. Yeah. I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to uh, ruin your evening. <laughs> of course, oh. that's a great segue to ending the show. Thanks, everybody, for watching, tuning in. If you like what you saw, let us know in the comments section down below or support us over at patreon.com slash loadandgreadyrun. Uh, it's because of all of you that there's all of this. And, of course, if you want more information on the decks we play today or the format itself, you can look at the description. Thank you for the game search. My friend. Oh. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, very, you. very, very fun games. Indeed. Thank you to Ben on Tech. Yeah. And thank you, audience. I hope your evening was ruined. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>